Hey, welcome back. This is Jenny with Embrace Hair Art. Yes, I did Big Chop number three. Um, just look at this. Just look at my hair. See my edges? Um, they're about four inches or three, four, five inches. And you see the crown, that little section twisted at the top. You see how thick the root is and you see how thin that twist is. Now look at the back. And this is how much shedding I get every time I do my hair. Stay tuned to see why I did Big Chop number three. Yes, this is the new look. Yes, for now. Yes. Hey, welcome back. This is Genevieve with Embrace Hair Arts. Yes, I know something is missing. Um, yes, it is all of my hair. Um, I actually decided to do Big Chop number three. And there are so many reasons. Just keep watching. I'm going to tell you what happened when the how why what where blah 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 most of you know that i had a baby back in 2016. um i nursed him for a period of time and then i ended up uh you know obviously because i'm i think i'm done with children right now i ended up doing um birth, um, birth control. control affects your hormones and um I think I've talked about this in prior videos. Um, I had postpartum alopecia, so this is the second time I actually got it after this baby again. Um, I had it after my middle child. She is now going on five, and pretty much what it is is pretty much hereditary. You can't. It's you know it usually comes from one side of the family or both. So pretty much postpartum um, alopecia comes from both. It could come from either side of the family. So what happened with me is. You know, like I said, this is my second time around with it. Um, I did lose my edges. My hair was about maybe here or so um, after I had him, after I had my son. And, you know, it gradually kind of grew down to here or like, you know, a little bit past my armpits. Um, but what ended up happening was um, pretty much I lost this much hair right here around the front so i want to say like ear to ear i lost all of that that pretty much fell out literally as soon as it fell out like it started growing back in um it started to gradually fall out fall out like it would look thinner and thinner over time um and i'll put a video at the end so you can see what i was talking about so it just looked thinner and thinner from here to here gradually over time and then i also had a strip so i want to say from here to here and all the way back down into the back that broke off um, same thing happened last time so I know that it was that I've been to a dermatologist and that is what it is um, there's nothing I can do about it I can't change it um, all I can do is start over um, because what I don't want to do is let me take a step back what I don't want to do is with my clients and with people who follow embracing natural you I'm always don't hold on to hair if it's broke off or it's damaged just cut it off so that's pretty much what I'm gonna do I'm brave enough I know I am I'm confident in myself how I look I feel that I'm beautiful um, and I'm just I, I couldn't deal with this so that hair start the hair that I talked about that broke off it kind of started to grow back so I had about maybe this much I want to say that's like four inches of new hair so like I very well could have cut my hair at this point because even the crown was like that also I had about that much but I was just like for what um I did that before I haven't been short in a very long time um why not so I just cut it all off I'm a very impulsive person so I just was like whoop pretty much cut it all off um I have no problems doing that hair grows so fast hair grows that like for most people on average about half an inch a month um so what uh, that's like three inches in six months maybe six inches it really depends because your hair growth is um genetically predetermined so some people do only get to a certain length but it is very possible um to get longer um it's very possible for your hair to go faster or shorter so that's pretty much what happened um so i just was like what am i holding on to it for because i was pretty much trimming this part trimming this part up here it was just too much and for what life is too short i don't want to be ruled by what is here like you know i love hair obviously i'm a cosmetologist um i have products but i mean why i just can't 
I, I can't hold on to it for what it's old it's over it's gone um this will be big chop number three in my natural life <laughs> but um i did big chop probably in total four times i big chopped the first big chop was years ago when i got this really bad red color so um i went into a salon i wanted some red color and like some layers she pretty much gave me a mullet yeah um she gave me a mullet and what i ended up doing was um so i pretty much had it was like here's the first layer second you know and it got just real thin and i walked in there with my hair like right here so whatever all right so did that grew that out that was back in my silk press days i was doing my own silk presses or my press outs um and then back in 2011 that was my first big chop in my i call it my natural life i've always been natural never had a relaxer um pretty much why i cut my hair then was um i had no idea about being natural um had i just liked twist outs that's all i knew i saw someone with a twist out um i didn't know it was a natural style um i went to a salon tried to get the twist out done it looked broke down it was just it was horrible like my hair i didn't realize that i had so much heat damage i pretty much had heat damage from here literally all the way down here so i was frustrated um just frustrated with the whole thing so i ended up cutting it all off went to the bathroom asked my husband do you care if i cut all my hair off so um he was like no as long as you um well, pretty much he asked me, are you going to stop talking about your hair? Are you going to stop complaining about it? And I was like, yes. So he said, go for it. So I wasn't looking for his approval. I was just more so, I guess I was. I don't know. But whatever. So luckily, I looked up and he didn't care. So then, you know, he embraced, you know, my hair started growing um, very, very fast. Um, I was making like little products here and there. Embrace wasn't truly formed then, but I had a blog. Um, because so many people were asking me, how did your hair grow? What did you do? And, you know, some things I was making for my hair and, um, you know, some of those things I was giving away to people for free to try to just to, cause they asked for it. Um, and then also my hair, um, it was just kind of growing at a really fast rate. So <laughs> I was always getting stopped cause it was big. Um, I put some pictures in so you guys can see. Um, and pretty much people just kept asking me, how is your hair growing, blah, blah, blah. So I ended up also doing an annual expo here in Detroit. And, um, I did that for about four years, but I ended up stopped, I stopped doing it, um, this year just because there's other things I want to do. I want to do more things with Embrace and doing an event, it just requires a lot of planning. Um, there are two other annual events here. In Detroit and I'm not saying that embrace won't do another one just just not right now I just there's so many more things that I'm trying to do right now so um, because we have the salon we also have um, the products like it's just a lot so um, now let me take you forward to big chop number three or big chop number what am I saying big chop number two uh, so big chop number two in my natural life <laughs> so that was back in 2013 or at the end of 2013, I had the same issue. Um, nursed my daughter. Um, my hair ended up falling out in the same places. So it pretty much fell out around here from ear to ear. And also this little strip to the back. It just began to break off and fall out literally. So, you know, I was growing that out for a little bit. But it, again, it was just too much effort. Too much effort to maintain both textures or both lengths. So, um... I guess my advice to someone who's experiencing the same thing is you really just have to, I wouldn't say you have to big chop. It just depends on where the hair loss is. But it is very annoying because you start to do styles that camouflage the problem. And why camouflage the problem when you can just get rid of it and start all over? So that's pretty much what I did and I just wanted to come on here and talk about it tell everybody you know why I did this again um it's not because my hair wasn't healthy um it's just like why like life is short um it's just so much easier for me to manage 
because if you didn't know I think I said this in other videos I have three little ones and this is so easy um yes I do plan on growing it out again um no more kids anytime soon and yes I do plan on getting rid of the morena that I'm on right now um because I really feel like those hormones actually added on to it I was told that also but I really feel like that played a major role I feel like it did the last time but um what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue I'm going to enjoy this super short phase and then I am going to grow my hair back out um and you guys can just be on the journey with me so all right thanks for watching bye was